Hello fellow mobile gamers, welcome to Gaming on Phones, YouTube channel. Established in 1999, Gameloft has to be one of the most renowned and celebrated names in the mobile gaming industry in the last decade or so, with games such as Asphalt, Nova, Real Football, Gangster Vegas, City Mania Town Building, Brothers in Arms, Disney Magic Kingdoms under its belt. If you've been somewhat familiar with mobile gaming in the past decade, you can't deny the sheer volume and quality of Gameloft's firm grip on the gaming industry. However, in recent times, Gameloft isn't as influential in the mobile gaming community and nor does it have its old shelf of honor to its name. The reason for the slow decline of Gameloft or rather losing its well-earned throne isn't something straightforward. In this video, we'll discuss the various factors behind how Gameloft is losing its grip on mobile games. So watch the video till the end. Gameloft has to be one of the most graceful game developers in the early days of mobile gaming, developing innovative and true-to-its-nature games with minimal microtransactions, if at all, and a strong ethical ground against having ads in-game. Every franchise they touched turned into gold, be it Nova, Asphalt, Brothers in Arms or Real Football. Gameloft's ruling over the mobile gaming industry peaked around 2014-15 to and they were the mobile gaming company, the untouchables, in the few number of developers that actually listened to the player base and made strategic changes accordingly. The undisturbed kings of mobile gaming during that period of time. Gameloft made a brave and against the flow decision to keep ads out of their games. This is a respectable decision, but the new era of mobile gaming treated this brave decision differently as Gameloft was denied a lot of profit from ads that other games enjoyed and so their budget definitely increases many times than Gameloft's. They kept firmness on their word, but the clear indication was this type of business in the mobile gaming industry wasn't sustainable anymore. However, having low profits and running on red did not stop Gameloft from keeping their word, but that didn't last very long as Gameloft's Advertising Solutions, aka GAS, was formed to integrate ads into games. Gameloft was running on red and dilution of the rights was the only way and so happened. By the end of 2015 and the mid of 2016, Vivendi had acquired 95% of Gameloft which indeed saved the company but brought with it many differences in vision. Gameloft had to give in to the modern trends of gaming to keep the lights on. The sequel to the one of the best mobile games of the last decade, Nova 3, the much anticipated Nova Legacy, turned out to be a bit disappointing for the fans. Lower graphical fidelity and a low focus on the campaign and comparatively a bigger number of microtransactions contributed to the game becoming less attractive and appealing to the old audience. However, in the next games under Vivendi's acquisition, Gameloft did maintain the quality that they used to and all things seemed alright till then. Gameloft always made premium games that mostly ended up being not free to play and had a proper focus on the campaign, something we don't see these days often. However, as the mobile gaming industry moved towards free to play games with battle passes and in game purchases that ranged from cosmetic to gameplay effective, Gameloft's premium games stopped getting the attention and throne they were used to. The sales started to see a downward spiral, which made the mobile game giants a bit more uncomfortable and unsure to develop other premium games. If you're loving our daily updates like these and want to help this channel grow, then please consider subscribing to our channel and give the videos a thumbs up. Now back to the video. As the sales numbers started to drop, Gameloft halted updating its fan favorite games as updates for a long time, which was years at a time. In this competitive mobile gaming era, constant updates and addition of season specific events are the things that keep gamers engaged and keep the player base intact. Therefore, a huge gap between updates can be something of a bummer for most gamers. Such as Nova 3 isn't supported on modern devices anymore due to a lack of compatibility updates which makes the state of Gameloft even more concerning and makes Gameloft lose its grip on mobile gaming industry. Things do not seem as bright as it was for Gameloft anymore, however, recently Gameloft has started bringing new updates to games that weren't updated for a year or longer. The latest release from Gameloft, namely Heroes of the Dark, seems to be a decent and modern addition to the mobile gaming catalogue of Gameloft and did receive a lot of positive reviews on the Play Store with a solid gameplay loop. 
The steps Gameloft has been taking recently seem to be in the right direction, which makes the old fans of the mobile gaming giants all the more hopeful once again. Gameloft still shows that they have the quality they had before, with a new coat of modern pain and a shiny new game, Gameloft might be on the track to still compete with other mobile gaming giants. The sky-high ups and lows of Gameloft are pretty apparent in how Gameloft is losing its grip on mobile gaming articles. However, the loose grips can be restored with more focus and regular updates, redeeming some old IPs that were lost in transition and now unplayable on modern devices. The quality that Gameloft maintains in all of its games is something to get inspired from, but the refusal to change with time has caused the mobile gaming giants big time and the recovery seems to be on the way. To wrap this up, we'd like to reiterate that the premium quality and campaign modes as signature features in Gameloft games are still missed to this day and the return of those games definitely for the majority would be a welcome one. So that's it for today, what are your thoughts on Gameloft's current situation? Let us know in the comments below. We'll be back with more exciting mobile gaming videos soon. Meanwhile, you can always check the previous week's news highlights and our website www.gamingonphone.com. So see you in the next video.